Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a machine exception blue screen error you're experiencing on your Windows 10 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I would suggest that you ensure that you are able to boot into Windows. So if you're unable to get into Windows at first, you can use the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool and try and launch some different system utilities like System Restore as well as trying to get into safe mode using different startup setting options. But you want to get to the Windows operating environment. And once you're at like a place that looks somewhat like this, you know, with a start menu and everything, you want to go and open up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And type in device manager. Best match should say device manager above control panel. I want to left click on that one time to open up device manager. And you want to go expand the display adapter section, either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it. So whatever display adapter is listed under here, you want to right click on it and then left click on properties. Left click on the driver tab, and if there's an option to roll back the driver, I would suggest doing that. However, if it's grayed out, I would suggest updating the driver. So just left click on update, search automatically for updated driver software. And as a final result, if that does not work, I would actually suggest uninstalling the driver as well. And then when you restart your computer, the display adapter should be reinstalled. So pretty straightforward. And also you can try resetting the CMOS battery as well. So actually, I usually suggest if you are comfortable with it, opening up the back of your laptop and actually just removing the battery and then putting it back in. This is not actually your laptop battery. And usually if you look up your computer model, it should be pretty clearly labeled how to do it. So again, the CMOS battery or complementary metal oxide semiconductor, however you want to call it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.